Hey, this is uh, Killer Natural from another YouTube battle. This time I'm playing um, Paul Blades from the Pojo forums, and we've had a lot of good battles in the past, including our first round matchup in the um, Pojo Cup tournament. But we decided to just battle for fun, you know, you two, both of us were bored. So he leads with Hidden Power Ice, which hurts a lot to Hippodon. And I just set up Stealth Rocks because I thought I could live that Hidden Power Ice or Grass if it had it. But here I have to switch into something that can take that hidden power, and that is Tyranitar, because with the Sandstorm he gets a special defense boost. And that will do nothing, Tyranitar. Yay. So here he switches out. And I take the free dragon dance, because I kind of expected to switch. And he sends out Suicune. Now, I know if he calms mines, it'll be a problem, but I don't think he will. And if he did, I still don't think it would be that much of a problem, because I think I can two it KO with Crunch, with one dragon dance. But looking at it again, it's, I'm probably wrong. But he just surfs, which is good. I'm going to win this battle because I'm faster. And, of course, the special defense boost is huge. So, I crunch, he surfs. Not much really to say. I get the defense hacks, but it doesn't really matter. He's going to die in one more hit anyway. So, here he does something that's kind of a mistake for him. He decides he wants to switch out, instead of leaving the Suicune for death fodder. And he actually switches out into Skarmory. That's not a bad move, but it lets me scout out one of his Pokemon. I crunch it. It doesn't do that much, obviously, because Skarmory is a freaking beast against physical attacks. So I'm expecting the Whirlwind, so I taunt. And I was right, because he tries to Whirlwind me. And I'm pretty sure he's going to switch out here, so I take the second free Dragon Dance. It'd be foolish of him to attack me with Brave Bird or something. He's thinking about it pretty hard, though. Man, this guy thinks a lot. Alright, so he's in the back Suicune. And I get another Dragon Dance off. And it actually dies to the Sandstorm, so he just sends it out for Death Fodder. But, doesn't really matter because I use Dragon Dance. But at this point, Tyranitar is pretty strong. <laughs> so he touches in Zapdos. Um, I'm pretty sure I can KO with Crunch after the Stealth Rock, but he told me later that it's full defense EVs, so and full HP EVs, so it's not going to KO with Crunch. That is a beastly friggin' uh, Zapdos. That's pretty ridiculous. But I do kill it, so... Yay, dead Zapdos. And here he switches back in Skarmory. And I'm pretty sure I can win this with Tyranitar, just by crunching. Now, he predicts the taunt, but it had to be done, because I can't have him whirlwind me away if I want to win this stall battle. Or this... Sorry, this not this really stall battle, but just battle. And I crunch him, and he just drill packs me. And looking at it, I know I'm going to win this, but he does get the crit hacks here. So my Tyranitar actually doesn't win this little mini war, and that's going to be really annoying. I'm not going to be able to deal enough hit point or damage to Skarmory to kill it with Crunch. This is one of those times I really wish I had Stone Edge in my Tyranitar. Oh well. So I descend in something that can kill that Skarmory now. And he doesn't even bother switching out because that Skarmory is pretty practically useless. Well, I guess not, because he probably carrying Roost on that Skarmory. He probably could have switched out, but he wouldn't have gotten a safe switch in later against my team, so I don't know. I guess that was a pretty good play. 
So he switches in Infernape. I'm expecting the Stone Edge, because I can't really think of another reason for an Infernape to come on a Gyarados. But it was actually just a Grass Knot, which my Gyarados could have survived, and I could have just Dragon Danced, and... But, oh well. Um, Garchomp is strong enough to KO this anyway. So that's what I do. I use Earthquake, and that's a dead Infernape. And he sends out Garchomp of his own. I know I'm not going to be able to KO it with the Earthquake, so I just switch out into my physical wall, Hippodon. And that is a lot of damage because it's life orbed. But that's okay. Here I'm just going to slack off because I know I can survive another hit from that. But he actually substitutes. So I'm really afraid now that he's going to set up that Swords Dance, and I can't have that. So the only thing I really can do is roar here. But he doesn't. He just earthquakes. He either expects the roar here, or he doesn't want the substitute to go away. But I don't see, like, he wouldn't, I don't know, he wouldn't have, um, KO'd me no matter what anyway, so I don't really get that idea. So in here he sends Blissey out. I'm kind of surprised he doesn't switch back into, um, Garchomp here. But, I guess, I don't know why. And I do a lot of damage to Blissey with Earthquake, more than I actually expected, because Hippodon's attack isn't all that great. Um, I slack off here because I want to be at full health when battling that Garchomp later. I need to be at full health. So here I'm just going to use the Earthquake and finish off that Blissey. Stupid seismic toll. Stupid Blissey. Die. And Blissey doesn't really do much against my team, even though I do hate it. My team only has two special sweepers, neither of which have been actually in this battle. So in comes his Garchomp again, and he subs, and I miss with my Earthquake. That sucks. But I really have this battle won now anyway, because I know he has Life Orb, and he can't sweep three Pokemon, or four Pokemon anymore, because he'll die before then. And I break the sub. I predict the Earthquake here, and I just switch out to Azelf to take it. And I just finish the match off with Grass Knot. Good game, Paul, and I hope to have a battle real soon. You're a great battler. Peace now.